but I probably don't have to sell you on that because you're probably clicking on this video thinking about like, hey, idiot scientist guy, balding, stupid person with ugly face. Why don't you tell me about how to get rid of my belly fat like you promised? What I promise is an education with a shitty attempt at humor. We'll absolutely get to the main points. Don't you worry. Because this thing isn't some bullshit. I'm telling you, this is a real thing and it works really well. But we got to set up the stage and the stage gets worse before it gets better. Here's the big problem. You're saying, okay, look, I don't know what thing you're trying to sell us on, but weight loss in a healthy way just normal calorie restriction should zap away my visceral fat. And that's true to a point, but there's a problem with that. Weight loss through diet and activity and even drugs like semaglutide, aka Ozempic, GLPs, help burn loads of fat off your body for sure. Especially if you train with weights and eat high protein at the same time, it really does burn a lot of fat. But that diet and that activity and even some of those drugs tend to burn the majority of your fat on your way down from your subcutaneous compartment, the fat underneath your skin, not your visceral fat between your organs that causes all this health damage and gives you a big, ugly, disgusting, terrible gut like I have. And every time you diet down, you lose some visceral fat, but a lot of subcutaneous fat. Here's the screwed up thing. As you regain some weight, even as you go back to maintenance and you continue to age, the visceral fat bumps up a little bit again, maybe a lot of it, and the subcutaneous doesn't bump up as much. So over time, the result is that your visceral fat still accumulating or kind of going nowhere, and your subcutaneous fat is either falling or neutral or accumulating if you're just getting super, super fat. That ratio of subcutaneous fat to visceral fat continues to get worse and worse and worse in the bad way over time. More visceral fat relative to subcutaneous fat. You want the other way around. The problem is diet and exercise don't target visceral fat as much as they do subcutaneous. And on the regain phase with aging, visceral fat tends to grow disproportionately more than subcutaneous fat. This literally sets you up for even if you're lean, over time, you redistribute your fat less and less under your skin, more and more of your gut, 